Hey, Shalom Amakim. Back for another video. As you can see, Florida. Oh boy. You have to ask the question. You know, what's the underlying cause for all of this? And that's what we're going to hopefully get to in this video. But first and foremost, call hello, Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh, Once again, double honors go out to the apostles, bishops, and elders of Great Millstone who deserve the honors. Salutations also go out to fellow Akim out there on the highways and byways across four corners of the earth, pushing this truth. All right, with all honesty and sincerity, trying to wake up the remaining hopefully elect. This is Nama with the DC camp. And yeah, as you can see from the heading here, it's from Black America Web. It says, Thanks, Ron DeSantis. Florida School District pulls Ruby Bridges movie after one white or Edomite parent complaint. One. <laughs> and you got to ask yourself, well, why are they so in an uproar about telling the real history of America? Simple answer is this. They know, can no longer control the narrative since all this is going, coming out. They've always pushed this narrative that we were lazy uh lately they've been trying to say that we were immigrants um, but see this is where all this backfired on them because when you think of the daughters of the confederacy after 1865 let's just use that year what they did was try to show the losing side and that would be the confederacy the southern states they try to romanticize them they try to uh, make people show sympathy and it succeeded for a while because I grew up in the south mid-south but the south nonetheless and that's what was pushed in the school system uh, when it comes down to it, it's just outright lies, all right? And these things are coming back to bite them in the buttocks in that big way, all right? And it's beautiful to see. It's beautiful. Anyway, so let's get into it. Here's the picture here of Ruby Bridges. It's escorted by U.S. Federal Marshals into William France Elementary School during the second week of the court order integration. New Orleans, or Nolans, Louisiana, November 28, 1960. It goes on to say it should be abundantly clear by now that Florida Governor Ron DeSantis and his anti-woke lynch mob, aka the Florida Board of Education, have fostered an environment that has caused educators to be straight up afraid to teach black history. All right. Was that DeSantis's intent? Who knows? But yes. <laughs> yes, that was likely his specific intent. After all, DeSantis has claimed black history will still be taught in Florida schools, but DeSantis, like conservative woke, woke of phobes <laughs> across the country, has made it clear that black history is to be taught through a filter designed to protect white people from their own fragile feelings. Why don't we start demanding that about the so-called Holocaust? Why should this be pushed, or why should that rather be pushed on our kids to make us feel sorry for them people? After all, you're talking about history here. It was them that funded the transatlantic slave trade. Even though now they're trying to say, no, 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 we we, we played a, a small part in it. See, when you when you when you manage to piece everything together, you gotta understand they did all these things. Once you understand that. They converted to what they call Judaism, which has nothing to do with the scriptures. So you got to understand under what they wrote, that being the Talmud, which goes back, you know, but that's that witchcraft. That's their book. According to that book, they're Jews. According to the Holy Scriptures, we are. So, 
Could it have been their dastardly plan to get us out of the way? I say yes. Psalms 83 is a big, a uh, big, big part of that. All right. They had to make sure that Israel would be no more in remembrance. All right. So what did they do? Basically took our place. <laughs> That's it in a nutshell. All right. But then you understand that they did all that studying when you get into the Masoretes and all that. And they tweak things here and there. All right. And when we went down with the plagues and all those things, and then you had, you know, reconstruct. I mean, not reconstruct. Whoa, so lucky. <laughs> the Renaissance. All right. I still got that on my brain from a previous video. But when you factor all in that, that, you know, and all, and Oliver Cromwell, his role in getting us all out of Ireland and England. Uh, yeah. <laughs> all right, get them out of the way. All right, then we'll take their place. And what's part of that? The Holocaust, or Holohoax, however you want to put it. That had to come about to garner sympathy, and no one's thinking about us. Prophecy. Again, prophecy. And all these things play a part in it. All right, let's not talk about those people. Let's not give them any hope. It's too late. All right. You got to understand, these things, these prophecies must come to pass, and they will. There's nothing you can do about it. All they have tried. I remember I worked in the... Uh, uh, government for a short span here years ago in the uh, Smithsonian uh, or they won't list it as to do specifically with the Smithsonian but it's a part of it all right you got <laughs> you have no idea who serves on the boards of some of these museums and things all right and uh, as such you see a lot of images that are portrayed and you know that's on purpose you have to they have to promote themselves and a lot of art that is about us is not in a positive manner that is all right it goes way back even those icons of Europe all right our people they had to literally whitewash they had to what they call iconoclasm they had destroyed the old images and put up theirs. Again, that's scripture. And what you have now are these people, and I would be willing to bet, all right, that you have a lot of so-called Jews behind advising, whether they be, you know, rabbis, so-called, or whatever. Uh, but anyway, let's... You know, enough of my rambling. Let's get back to this. It says, after all, DeSantis has claimed black history will be tough, Florida, but like I said, through a filter. Let's keep on going. It's why a textbook publisher used by more than 45,000 removed all mentions of race in a draft lesson of Rosa Parks' story in order to comply with Florida state guidelines. You notice also that they're trying to meld this LGBT bullshit. And this is what you stupid motherfuckers <laughs> of our people get. You don't realize how you've been used. All right. Uh, and manipulated. All right. What does a bunch of sexual deviants and what other things you can call them have to do with a nation of people? Why are we always bringing everybody in no matter what? Because... Uh, you, you're oppressed too? Fuck them. Our situation is totally different from anybody else's. Period. But you see how much, I mean, mm, wow. We need to get the fuck up out of here. Because our so-called leaders, you know, scripture, you know. Yeah, <laughs> he calls us the heir and also they sold out. All right. Uh. You know, you think of uh, J. 
Jeremiah 14 and 2 about the gates languishing. That's our leadership, so-called. Uh, also, uh, Zechariah 11 and 5. All right. Yeah, they sold us out. Anyway, uh, continuing on, it says, despite the fact, the fact that telling Park's story without talking about racism is like telling the story about January 6th Capitol riot without mentioning Donald Trump's stop the steal lies. In other words, how Fox News tells a story. And before that, a Florida school district banned Toni Morrison, the bluest eye, in order to err on the side of caution after a single white parent complained that it was too much for students to handle. Now, the Disney movie Ruby uh, Bridges, which, of course, is about the six-year-old girl who endured racial heckling and harassment when she integrated New Orleans schools in the 60s, a story white conservatives have tried to ban in the past, has been pulled from a Pinellas County, I guess is how you say it, school until it can be reviewed to make sure it passes the white fragility smell test. And that's basically what you're dealing with here. They're ashamed, and rightfully so. All right. But uh, it's amazing how you want to bring out any and all information about anybody else without any care whatsoever. But when it comes to you, oh, no, no, we got to, no, 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 we got to scratch this, scratch that. So again, when you think about the uh, protocols of the learned elders of Zion, what did it say? What was one of those protocols? All right, they were going to do away with anything that portrayed them in a bad light. All right. Going as far back as I guess they can. All right. And this is, <laughs> what do you think this is? All right. Continuing on, it says, according to the Tampa Bay Times, the movie has been a staple of the county. It's Black History Month lessons for years. All right. From the Times, it never caused a stir until this year, as parents across Florida exert increased powers to question what children can see in read schools. A North Shore elementary parent who would not allow her child to watch the film when it was shown and early, we should shoot it, we should have our children do the same thing about the damn fucking Holocaust bullshit. No, I don't want that propaganda to talk to our children and see what they say. All right. It says that she complained that it wasn't appropriate for second graders. In a formal challenge dated March 6th, Emily Conklin wrote that the use of racial slurs and scenes of white people threatening Ruby as she entered a school might result in students learning that white people hate black. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> white fragility. And there's something else going on here. And I'm on. I'm a roll a uh, play a, a clip. It says the school officials responded by banning the movie from use by all students at the St. at the St. Petersburg School until a review committee can assess it. Did you ever notice how virtually all of these woke and or critical race theory controversies center around how white people are perceived and affected by these lessons? It's a question. It's always about how white kids might be made to feel ashamed about their own skin or how they feel about their traditionally white country or how the rights of white parents need to be protected or how we need to end all the divisiveness in America by making sure white people are comfortable at the expense of everyone else. And that's exactly what's going on. Isn't this some bullshit? That's why we're encouraging our people to try to wake the fuck up. We're not out there on the highways and byways for nothing. This is what we're commanded to do. All right, we're telling you, you know, Isaiah 58 and 1, you know, we're out there using our voices like a trumpet to show our people their sins. And we're not sparing anybody because we're not supposed to, unlike some we're trying to do here. <laughs> All right. This is a countrywide group that represents... Uh, anyway, yeah, because they're like, well, this is going to affect everybody. Why? It's as many from historically marginalized communities, such as us, are asking whether this so-called integrated education system in the county can even serve the diverse community fairly and equitably. And the question would be a resounding, fuck no. All right? 
It says the group has been active for years, often working with school district officials and at times battling them in court. State's guidelines, which some have called vague, have led to book challenges and bans by the dozens throughout Florida. The district's leadership appears to fear the potential consequences of not acting in the way they have on these two decisions. All right, this approach to challenging times in education in our state raises serious questions about the superintendent. All right. Davis acknowledged the po political climate in Florida has educators second-guessing themselves about what materials to use in classes. Lawmakers have made clear that they don't want books, movies, or lessons about race to create student discomfort. What about our discomfort from all these years past that even affects us now? What about that? Ah, no one cares. What about the physical discomfort of this, the topic of this, uh, Article here, Ruby Bridges. What about all the shit that she had to go through? See, but they don't care. It's always about them people, those people, like this article is saying. Fuck them. But here's the thing. Let's go to the scriptures. This is, got to go to the New Testament, Second Corinthians 10. And four, it says, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai to the pulling down of strongholds. What's some of them strongholds we're talking about? It's going to tell you in the next verse, verse five. Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. All right, so all the lies, all right, we're destructuring all the barriers that have been put up to stymie our people. These devils, these Edomites, these so-called white people are being exposed for the pieces of shit that they really are and have been. But the world refused to see largely because, and let's just put it out there, it was profitable to them. Yep. Psalms 83 again. Yes, sir. But now these things are coming to the forefront. These other people are being, well, victimized, as Dr. Cornell West would say. They've been niggerized, and they don't like it whatsoever. All right? So now they want to come seeing that. Well, yes, we knew you people were, well, they're, they're, you know, well, well, fuck you. It's a little too late. So you think, for those of us that actually see what's going on, that we're going to have any sympathy towards you? No. Nope. You're all our enemies. Again, Psalms 83. And it gives you a list starting at verse 6 with the so-called white man, numero uno. All right. And these things, uh, well, things, uh, oh, it's so beautiful what's going on with Russia and, and Africa. But understanding that they're Edomites too. And you're just trading one colonizer for another. Or two, because China's in there too. All right. Again, our enemies. But it's nice to see because the enemy of my enemy is my friend. <laughs> it's beautiful. You know, Sirach 25 and 7. It's a good time to be alive just to see what well, a downfall of your enemies. Paraphrase. So here we are. I'm going to play this clip now. This man I've seen in the past, I've often I've used his video. It's been, uh, i say, a few years. But I think Eric. I, I, I think uh, everybody recognizes it. Uh, let's see if I can lighten this up. Yeah, there we go. All right. So, let's hear what he has to say and just see if he's on point or not.
this picture here, this last one, that's my old high school. That's Little Rock Central. So, hey, <laughs> he's right on point, you know. They don't want that, all right, because it exposes them as the liars that they are and have been, all right. And this whole thing, this whole house of cards is coming crashing down, all right. And we didn't have any guns or anything like that, these you know, carnal weapons of war. We use the word. We use the word. Hosea 5 and 6. And other scriptures. Like the one I just used. But. Our weapons aren't. Carnal. But it's the words. Alright. I mentioned Hosea 5. You know these. Uh, hold on let's get it. We're chopping them up. How powerful these words are. Hebrews 4 and 12. Alright. Five and six. Oops, I always get that backwards. Six and five. Salakia. So like Hosea six and five. Therefore have I hewed them by the prophets. I have slain them by the words of my mouth, and thy judgments are as the light that goeth forth. Whole lot of judgment coming out. Alright. It's going to be a whole lot of shaking going on. I had to throw that in there. Hey. All right. So, uh, once again, uh, yeah. Ron DeSatan down there in, in Florida. I mean, they're exposing themselves. Well, I mean, we're helping, of course. <laughs> of course, something they would not want to acknowledge, but it doesn't matter. This whole thing, like I said, this whole house of cards is kind of crashing down. And it's beautiful to see. Beautiful. See all that shit in the past they've done by patting themselves on the back. You know, it's over. Hey, so uh, once again, I hope whoever views this is edified. That's uh, what we do here at Great Millstone. Filter things, filter everything, all right, through the scriptures as you're supposed to do. Thereby, you will know what time you're in, and you will know that time is short. Very short. All right, until the next video, shalom.